Hello friends, uh, we are back with question number 17 of December 2019 paper. It's a very good question. And the question they says, which of the following surface exhibit maximum variation in albedo? Means, kiska jo variation hai wo maximum hai albedo ka? Albedo is basically reflectance, right? With respect to the angle of incident of solar radiation. So at what angle the solar radiation incident right so depending upon that which one among the given quantity show the maximum amount of variation in the albedo right and the correct answer is water we will see the detailed explanation of this why water shows a maximum amount of variations with respect to albedo depending upon the angle at which the solar radiation strikes right so we will see that some of the detailed explanations the correct answer is first which is water. Now let's see some of the detailed explanation why it is water. So as all of you know, an ideal black body will absorb all the incident light, but in the real world, things absorb only part of the incident light. It's like every body is not a black body. So the fraction of light that is reflected by the object is called as albedo. All of you know that is also called as reflectance, right? So black object have albedo close to zero because they absorb everything. They do not reflect anything, which ob white objects have an albedo close to one, which is actually white snow. So we have a table where we have shown that what is basically uh, the albedo of different thing, right? So albedo of the earth surface materials and most of the albedos are sensitive to the angle at which the sunlight hits the surface. And this is especially true for water. So because the with respect to angle, it is quite sensitive. So one, the sun is at angle of 40 degree and higher relative to the horizon. The albedo of the water is fairly constant. But as the angle decreases from 40 degree, the albedo increase dramatically. So it's about 0 0.5. At sun, the angle is 10 degree. And one at sun angle, 0 degree. So you are always aware of this form of glare coming of the water with early morning in the evening before the sunset. So this is the reason why that reflectance is responsible for variations in the albedo of the water at which it hits. So we have in one column, we have the, as you can see in the one column, we have this substances and in the other column, we have the one column we have the substances, other column we have the percentage reflectance or albedo earth's material. So whole planet is around 0.31, cumulonimbus cloud 0.9 albedo, stratocumulus cloud 0.6, cirrus cloud 0.5 and here comes water. Which you can see it is ranging from 0 0.06 to 0 0.1. So that's why maximum variation in the albedo is shown by water we have other substances also down the line which are important from examination point of view we can see that also so if you see those compound also they are also important so we have ice and snow which ranges from 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 we have sand which is 0.35 which have grasslands 0.18 to 0.25 we have deciduous forest 0.15 to 0.18 Coniferous forest having an albedo or percentage reflectance 0 0.09 to 0 0.15, then rainforest around 0 0.07 to 0 0.15. One should remember these values because they could ask one question from this. Hope uh, you are enjoying the solutions provided by the team of ASS Science Foundation. Uh, we are working in this environmental science NTA from last 10 year and having the national maxima of each year because we believe in the quality education. Right, and we will be bringing uh, more quality stuffs for the environmental science community. Hope you are liking these things. Thank you very much for your support. We will request you keep working hard, keep learning the subject day by day, right? And keep working hard for your exam. Thank you guys.